The New York Post has this article. The sun will come out tomorrow, but do you care? Maybe you've opted to partake in the two recently viral lazy trends, bed rotting, an indefinite, an indefinite state of sloth at any time of day, or Herkel, Herkel Durkling? What? To lounge around in the morning when you should be seizing the day. Why would that be called Herkel Durkling? Lounging around in the morning is... Why do we need a name for that? And why do you have to choose the worst name you can possibly think of for that thing that everyone has done? Lounging around in the morning is Herkel Durkling? Um, the regret you feel when, when ignoring a beautiful day in favor of more bedtime indicates that you've been stricken with sun, sun guilt or sunshine guilt. And based on the number of views the term has garnered on TikTok, it appears to be pretty common. Dr. Nadia uh, Temurian, a psychologist from the Moment of Clarity Mental Health Center, explained to Bustle that sunshine guilt is the feeling of remorse one gets when they stay inside on a nice day. And the feeling can intensify if the person assumes everyone else is outdoors enjoying their lives. Uh, user the Renee Reina posted a video explaining the phenomenon earlier this month. Um, Quote, it is an abnormally beautiful day outside, but I'm tired, so now I feel this pressure to go outside and go for a walk and enjoy the weather while it lasts. She continued, I can't enjoy myself indoors now because the whole time I'm thinking that I should be outside, so basically my day is ruined. Virtually everyone in the comment section admitted to feeling sunshine guilt as well. That This type of guilt tends to go hand in hand with the fear of missing out or feeling like you're doing something wrong. Uh, and then there's a bunch of, there's, okay, and, there's a lot, much more analysis of this from mental health experts, so-called, and, and so on. Uh, I mean, this is yet again why I could never be a therapist. Uh, I I cannot imagine sitting there and having someone come in and say, you know, I'm experiencing sunshine guilt. You know, I, I was herkle durkling this morning, and I really felt some sunshine guilt over it. I can't imagine having to listen to that and take that seriously. No, you're not. You're not experiencing sunshine guilt. You're experiencing. You're experiencing the the sensation of being a self-absorbed dumbass. So get the hell out of my office, and you still owe me three hundred dollars. This is a full session. Uh, first of all, we don't need a name. We don't need a brand new term for another kind of stress or, or brand of depression or whatever. We don't need a new term for this. We don't need a new. We don't need. This is the worst thing. And look, I know that it's always kind of cliche when you start complaining about the younger generations, but uh, and I think there's a, I think there's a lot redeeming in, in Gen Z, actually, especially any who listen to this show. You guys are great. You guys know what's going on, but you know, all the rest of them, I don't know. Um, but I will say, one of the most annoying things about Gen Z is, is this uh, tendency to find a, a, a name or label for like every normal thing that people have always done, and but you have rediscovered it as a, as a trend and you've given it a label and you describe these completely banal experiences on TikTok with this new label and everyone says, oh my gosh, I do the same thing. Of course you do the same thing. What, you do this sitting inside your house? You think that's like a thing? Well, I can totally relate to your experiences. I have also sat inside my house at times. I do the same thing. I have, oh my gosh, you, you sit on your couch too? So do I. I. I never knew. I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one who sat on my couch. I thought I was the only one who had a couch. You have couches too? I've, I, I've never been in anyone else's house. I didn't know what other people, I've never interacted with any other human ever. So I, I didn't realize that everything I'm doing is just an normal human stuff. So please stop doing that, Gen Z. Is your closet cluttered with home videos and photos that rarely see the light of day? These irreplaceable heirlooms are not only crowding your shelves this spring cleaning season, but they're rapidly fading away. Now with Legacy Box's spring cleaning sale, you can check digitizing your memories off your to-do list and protect them forever for only $9 a tape. My producer McKenna sent a Legacy Box to uh, her in-laws and they used it to digitize their wedding photos and videos that they haven't been able to enjoy in years. Thanks to Legacy Box, they can relive one of their most precious memories you can create your own legacy box filled with camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures. You'll get digital copies that are easily enjoyed, shared, and organized. It's like magic. Legacy Box is the world's largest digitizer. They've helped over one million families relive their wedding days, chaotic childhood sporting events, and 
even those long road trips. Check protecting your memories off your spring cleaning to-do list with Legacy Box. Visit LegacyBox.com slash Walsh to shop their $9 tape sale. That's LegacyBox.com slash Walsh to unlock this incredible offer. We don't need a new label. A lot of your problems in particular stem from just being lazy and unmotivated. And that's not new. It's not unique. It, it doesn't make you interesting. Uh, it just, that's it. And, and being lazy and unmotivated creates a bunch of other issues. And then you want to come up with separate little labels for all of those. But it's all the same thing. It is all the same. So just stop being lazy. Okay? That's, so it's two pro- you have two problems. If you have sunshine guilt, quote unquote, first of all, it's because, yes, again, you're lazy. Okay, like you should go outside. So you should get some exercise. It's a beautiful, if it's a beautiful day and you're lying in bed staring at your phone all day and you feel guilty about that, you should feel guilty. You should feel ashamed. It's gross. It's pathetic. Get outside, touch some grass. So if you're lying there thinking, oh man, I'm such a loser. Well, yes, you are exactly. So stop being that. Stop being the thing that you're being that makes you feel bad. No, don't don't try to change the feelings about what a lazy fat you are. Just stop being a lazy fat. That's that's it. It's that's it's so easy, actually. Well, it might not be easy, but it's it's so simple. It's so simple. And the shame and guilt that you feel, it's not it 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 that you that's you know what that is? It's called your your conscience. You have a conscience, it's speaking to you. Listen to it. So you're being you're being slothful, okay? That's what it's it's the sin of sloth that you're engaging in, and you you actually have a soul that is speaking to you and telling you I shouldn't be like this. So rather than trying to rationalize it or post TikToks about it or find a community of other people, oh we're all in the sunshine guilt community, we can support each other. Don't do that. Listen to that voice inside your head. You're called your conscience again. And, uh, and go outside and get some exercise. That's it. You know, you could do that. You could like, if you're inside and you're feeling lazy and you're feeling guilty about it, especially if you're, you know, especially if you don't have kids, like you have no excuse to, you know, if you have kids, if you have responsibilities, you, you might want to go outside, but you can't. But if you could and you're feeling that way, go, go for a jog for 45 minutes. And then come back inside and that guilt will be gone because now you've, you've gone out and got some exercise. You don't need to feel guilty about it anymore. But the second, so that's the first problem. The second problem is, uh, as I always say, stop thinking so much about how you feel. Okay, it's not that interesting. It's not that complicated. Uh, and you know what? If, if, if you're being lazy and you're, you're lazing around all day and you're staring at your phone and it's a beautiful day and you're not going outside um, and that's what you've decided to do and then you're feeling guilty about it, okay, well then fine, you've decided to be lazy that day. Everyone has days like that. So then that's what you, but you don't need to sit there thinking about it. You don't need to sit there dwelling on your feelings about it. How do I feel about this? How do I feel in this moment? How do I feel in this moment now? But well, here's a new moment. How do I feel now? How do I feel? How do I feel about how I feel? How do I feel about how I feel about how I feel? How do I feel about how other people feel about me? Just get, you're in this vortex of self, self-obsession. Find something outside of yourself to care about. For five minutes, if you can. Try, well, well, baby steps. Try to spend five minutes of your day thinking about something other than your own feelings about yourself. And ironically, that'll make you feel a lot better about yourself if you do. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to listen to my full podcast on the go, you can check out The Matt Walsh Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.